So, there's always something going on here at the shop, and today we have a sick reticulated python, and her name is Lucy. She weighs about 40 pounds. She's down here in the spare tub. <laughs> here she comes. And I showed her to the vet, and she has a, a protrusion from her mouth. We think it's from a, an impact. And I uh, think it might be a little bit of a, a respiratory infection. So today we're going to treat her. Today I cleaned out her tub, and I put in just butcher paper, took out her water. And <laughs> she was on this coconut husk substrate. But we are going to move her back up into her tub. Oh, she's usually a baby once you get her up. Uh, here we go, Lucy. Usually if I can get her head going first. <laughs> See if I can get her in. Come on, girl. There you go. She weighs about 40 pounds now. She is a big girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's get her all the way in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oops, she's sliding out. All right. So that was pretty painless. So actually, if you want to take a look, if you can see, she's got this little thing going on with her mouth right there. You can kind of take a look. You can see that. <laughs> it's a little protrusion. At first we thought maybe it was a tumor, but since it's kind of drained and it's going down, uh, whew. all right, buddy. We think, uh, we think we can treat it. So the next thing we're going to do is, so I've made up some uh, <laughs> RODI water, reverse osmosis, deionized, and I put in uh, three mils of F10, and we put it in this reptifogger here. So basically we just in, turn it on, and this usually takes a couple minutes to get going, and it makes the F10 fog vapor, and what we're going to do is we're going to set our alarm for 20 minutes, 20 minutes, and then we'll just sneak it in a corner, and we're going to do 20 minutes a day for about 14 days and that hopefully will clear it up thanks for watching